Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. Yeah, you know, I wanted to revive one of my old Acer Switch 2-in-1 laptops. You know, it only runs Windows 10, it won't run Windows 11, and it's getting kind of pokey, so I wanted to install Raspberry Pi Desktop. It's Debian Bullseye with the Raspberry Pi flavor, and it would help me be more familiar whenever I get on Raspberry Pi because I'd have a PC that's running the same software. So I was racking my brain. I haven't done this in a while. How do I burn this disk image? And it says, yeah, just right click and burn disk image and you get Windows Disk Image Burner. Well, that's great. Let's go see. So I right click here. Yeah, there's no burn disk image in uh, Windows 11 here. And we'll even check more options. There's no burn disk image there either. So what to do? <laughs> that, that's what I enjoy about this hobby is we always find one more thing we need to learn. So I'm searching a top, top line of the search right here. Windows disk imager is missing from both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Yeah, can't find it. It's not in the context menu and we don't know where it is. So let's see. Okay, right click, open with, choose another app, more apps. And then you browse to the Windows System 32 folder and look for Isoburn EXE. Well, you know, why did they take it out if it was that? <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Like I said, I haven't burnt a Windows disk or any disk image for that matter in, in a long time at this point. It's probably been years. So I got my DVD recorder off the shelf. And this is how naive I was. I got a CD-ROM out. Like that's going to hold the... Uh, Raspberry Pi OS. <laughs> but let's find out. Okay, so here we go. We're going to right click, open with, choose another app down there at the bottom. Now, what do we do? You know, browse. No, we want to choose an app on your PC. Okay, so now let's start typing. I'm going to type C Windows. There we go slash system okay there's system 32 let's click there and now we can just try okay type what is it iso burn yeah okay type iso burn oh, there it is iso burn exe open okay and i want always Windows Disk Image Burner, always open an ISO file. Oh, well, you see the icon changes right away. But then, now I'm waiting, 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 waiting. <laughs> All I see is this Windows dialog in the background. And I guess it has to scan the whole ISO before it pops out here. But, yeah, see, I'm looking for the, <laughs> the Windows uh, Disk Image Burner here. And I'm kind of freaking out. Yeah, Windows dialog. Yeah, that's a lot of help. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh! There we go. I guess it had to scan the whole file. That's a three and a half gigabyte file. All right. Yeah, let's give it a shot. To start burning the disk, click burn. We got the right DVD drive. Oh, yeah, my CD-ROM's too small. Okay, so let's try again. Here, I actually have a DVD-R in the drive this time. <laughs> Good thinking. So we're going to close that up and we're going to go ahead and click burn. It's checking the disk. Yay, it's going to do it. All right. It takes a few minutes. Yeah, there's the inevitable flashing light on the front of the DVD burner. This took several minutes. Obviously, we're cropping out a lot of stuff here. Okay, so that is your solution for you. Um... Look for the links down below in the description. Now I can go on to load Raspberry Pi Desktop on my Acer 2-in-1. Yeah, it's like a tablet with a detachable keyboard. That's kind of cool. And right now, using a docking station, it drives those other two monitors. I want to see if I'll be able to do that with Raspberry Pi. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you watch more of my Raspberry Pi videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.